and in this video I'll show you how to make these adorable zipper bracelets in two different styles this time. I love this project because it enables me to use up some random stuff that I've amassed in my sewing supply stash and I always love when I can make bracelets out of found objects rather than things like chain or beads. It just makes it a little bit more interesting. If you want to see more tutorials like this one let me know in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to it so you get updates when I post new videos, follow me on social media at Katrinaocity, check out my podcast at mdxpods.com, and if you enjoy this video please click that like button, it really helps my videos get seen. For this project you'll need zippers, scissors, jewelry pliers, end crimps, small and large jump rings, and either a lighter or clear nail polish, as well as whichever type of clasp you prefer, and I prefer lobster clasps. Begin by cutting the ends off of your zipper. You'll want to do this in between the teeth so that you don't mess up your scissors and interfere with their sharpness. And on the end with the zipper pull, you may want to pull the zipper pull down a little bit so that you can get into those small spaces without having to adjust it as you go. And try and trim them to the exact same length, if at all possible, at this step. Then pull the zipper pieces apart and begin trimming away the excess fabric. Most zippers will change texture about half a centimeter away from the teeth and this is a good line to follow so that you know you've cut it evenly all the way across. Then seal it and prevent any fraying by using your clear nail polish along the cut edge. You could also use glue if you don't have clear nail polish and set it aside to dry completely. Once it's completely dry, you'll want to place one of your zipper pieces in sort of a fish shape. Then take the second piece and place it underneath the head of the fish. Take the portion that's pointing down and flip it up and over the bottom fin of your original fish. Then take that piece that you just put up and over and put that underneath that top fin. Hopefully this makes sense and you're able to follow along. Then take the very tip of the section that you've been working with and you're going to keep weaving that same section through. Pull it up and around the top of your work and then put it down through the head of your fish underneath that other tail of the same section that you've been working and weaving through and then pull it up and out of the head of your original fish and you should have something that looks like this. If you didn't catch that, I recommend you rewind it and watch it again to make sure you've got it right. Then take your end sections of each of your fish tails, trim them to be even, place an end crimp over each one, and then pinch it shut using your jewelry pliers. Do the same thing on the other end, making sure that those two tips are flush with one another, Finish it off with an end crimp there, and then use your jump rings to attach a lobster clasp. I recommend using a lobster clasp because it's easiest to put on a bracelet when it has this style of clasp. Then on the other end, use a small jump ring to attach a larger jump ring, and that is something you can hook your clasp into. And that is your first bracelet. To make the second style of bracelet in this video, you're going to go through almost the exact same steps, except you're going to be using two zippers. Cut off the ends of your zippers, then trim away the excess fabric the exact same way. And for this one, since I'm using a polyester zipper, I'm able to use a lighter. Since it's polyester, it just melts, and the lighter will melt that edge instead of having to seal it with the glue. Be very careful if you're using this method, and if you're a child, make sure you have an adult help you out. Then once you've sealed up those edges, take each of your strips of zipper and placing the teeth overlapping one another, all pointing in the same direction, join the sections together with an end crimp. Place it over the ends of them and then pinch it shut using your jewelry pliers. Then grab the opposite end of your zipper pieces and holding them together, trim them to be the same length. Then cover them with a clasp and pinch that shut with your jewelry pliers as well. Finish them off with your clasp and jump rings and those are your finished bracelets. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more tutorials like this one, let me know in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, please click that like button. It really helps my videos get seen.